soldiers, hardened, tough, trained fighters, but not bulletproof. They are protected by a piece of armor that stops penetrating objects such as bullets, known as the bulletproof vest. Nowadays, body armor is usually made out of Kevlar. Kevlar was discovered by accident by an American chemist named Stephanie Quolle. She tried to develop an alternative fiber to produce lightweight car tires. The solution of polymer she was using formed a liquid crystal. A liquid crystal is matter with properties of liquids and solids. One day, Stephanie sent a sample of this liquid crystal for testing. It turned out to be stronger than any known polymer at the time. Kevlar was born. Kevlar is a synthetic aromatic polymer. An aromatic molecule has a ring-like structure of carbon atoms. A lot of these identical ring-like molecules, also called monomers, are connected together to make a chain. A chain of monomers is a polymer. The monomers used for Kevlar are 1.4 vinylene diamine and terephthaloyl chloride. No one will deny the importance of high-quality body armor, and even though it does its job fairly well most of the time, there is still room for improvement. Kevlar is sturdy and limits mobility. Secondly, it could be made even lighter since the usual bulletproof vest still has a weight of 12.5 kg. Considering all these drawbacks, it's clear that body armor can be significantly improved. The armor should be lighter, more flexible and absorb shocks better. One idea is to replace Kevlar by what is called a shear thickening fluid. But what is a shear thickening fluid? Before we explain that, we should first explain a couple of concepts, like shear stress, shear rate and viscosity. Formally, the viscosity of a fluid is a measure of its resistance to gradual deformation by stress. In normal English, this means viscosity tells you how quickly a liquid flows over a spoon or how hard it is to stir. Water has low viscosity, while honey has high viscosity. Shear stress is just a force applied parallel to a surface. The rate at which a shearing deformation is applied to some material is called the shear rate. So what is a shear thickening fluid? A fluid is a shear thickening fluid if the viscosity increases when the shear rate increases. In other words, the harder you try to stir, the harder the stirring becomes. Besides all the fun stuff you can do with this kind of material, this material appears to be ideal to use in body armor. Body armor filled with liquid could be light and flexible. When the bullet makes first contact with the corn starts, it applies a great force on it causing the viscosity to rise very quickly to the point where the cornstarch behaves like a solid. The bullet slows down, reducing the stress on the material and decreasing the viscosity. This continues until the bullet comes to a halt. The Scurvy Channel Smithbusters have used cornstarch to try and run over water. The duo run over a pool of a 50-50 mixture of cornstarch and water. In our experiment, we tried to find out if cornstarch could stop a bullet fired from an air gun. We used a 65% mixture of cornstarch and water. We also shot in water for comparison. 